Destiny Taking King, the Ace of Spades PvE weapon review. Anyway, the Ace of Spades hand cannon is the hunter exclusive, how do you call it, hang, exo exotic hand cannon, which a lot of people think that it's good for uh, PvP, like I know it's fun to use in PvP, but it's more like a PvE hand cannon. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's get on to the perks. Yeah, yeah, wait a sec. Anyway, yeah, in this video, here's the recoil pattern uh, sooner or later. Wait, yeah, uh, hello, video, that way. Um, yeah, that's the recoil pattern uh, with that uh, with the set of perks I have on right now. Okay, the true side IS, uh, and then on underneath that there's the quick draw is and steady hand i think that the true sight is going to be the best bet because of all that target acquisition and then firefly pre uh, precision kills will cause this weapon to cause the, the target to explode anyway this is what makes uh, well one of the perks that makes this weapon shine in pve other than uh, other than other hand cannons. Uh, well, maybe the Hawk Moon can stand up to its name, but anyway. And then here's the one switch you're gonna have to choose from for the occasion you're in in PvP or the one for you need to have in PvE. Uh, obviously, I have the one for PvE equipped, which is reinforced barrel. It decreases the uh, the stability, so the recoil is going to be a little bit crazier. Uh, that's why I did the recoil pattern over there. And uh, then you also have high cal rounds. Oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Their mass makes this weapon harder to handle. Very good for anti-sniping. Because you shoot that guy a long distance with this hand cannon. Which then makes them go, ow, and then the... And their, their scope just goes absolutely everywhere if they try to shoot you. And then you have perfect balance, which is m best for PvP. And this weapon has extremely low recoil when you equip this, which is pretty good. Like, it, it trades off. But the thing is, in Reinforced Barrel, there's always those times in PvE where you find yourself doing some weird gunfight where this gun is not that great for that range but anyway then comes the exotic the maverick perk precision kills move one round from your ammo reserves into the magazine basically you shoot them in the head it they explode make the other guys weak shoot the other guys in the head you still have a, that one round you already used back in your magazine you have like sort of a huge magazine because it's feeding from your reserve ammo and yeah and when you do that it, there, there also lies the problem but then also the pro the pro is that you can destroy a, a horde of very low level um uh, how do you call it bad guys but you're gonna have to be uh, conscious with your ammunition because Bungie already fixed this a little but it, it, it's still a problem but the thing is it's not as usual uh, they, uh, Bungie the makers of the game bumped up the ammo reserves in hand cannons in general up to a uh, little bit more, and this one now can hold 90 bullets in the reserve. Before, it can only hold 60, and a lot of people were running out of ammunition. Some people even ran out in the Crucible, which is just about impossible to run out. But hey, it never s uh, impossible can't be broken. And then... Okay, now let's get on to other stuff. I'd say that this weapon is actually pretty funny because it kind of relies on like, like the where it's kind of it's kind of funny because it's kind of into like the whole poker card game thing. 
the on the description it says don't play your hand unless you got that ace in the hole and then looks of this thing look awesome just about the peak of the looks of the last word which is like the best looking hand cannon if not the be the la best looking gun in destiny and then it also has the whole gimmick of you uh, flinging the gun around when you switch weapons, which is fun to do. And, uh, like, other guns have it, like the chaperone, the last word, and uh, the first curse, I think. And, uh, anyway, this uh, is a very good hand cannon to start level leveling up to that good old 335, even though there is others a little bit better, like I'd say, like, that other weapons, like the the Zalo, the Bad Juju, and some others I'll uh, hint in the future. But anyway, uh, when it comes to like high level stuff, at least this gun uh, can keep up because it has a low rate of fire, which is, mm, but then has super high impact. So high impact it just. Um, just about does dam enough damage like a sniper, like a thousand yard or a Amelon, uh, to actually uh, do some damage on that uh, boss. And I mean, the as a crit, not a body shot. And then, uh, well, not, not literally, just exaggerating there. Uh, but anyway, the magazine size is ten, which is uh, pretty rare for hand cannons these days. And, um, also that, I'd say that, um, this weapon's actually pretty hard to get, because you can't get it from a regular engram, because, um, uh, this one relies on the, um, the quest line back in the saddle. Basically, you get a bunch of stuff, like, you gotta get hand cannon kills with the primary telemetry active, and, Blah 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 blah. I have to wait till Arms Day a lot, which is Wednesday. But anyway, uh, hit the like button, smack that sub button, drop the comment. I'll be reading those comments pretty soon.